All right, so let me just show you how you can share your project in Kobo Toolbox. Okay, so um, I showed you how I, uh, how someone can share their own projects using the password as well as the the username. Once you share with someone the uh, the password as well as username, they can access your projects. But now I'd like to show you the uh, a certain kind of uh, uh, a procedure where you can share your projects without uh, giving someone your username as well as the um, the password. So here it's like you are, you are just trying to uh, make sure that someone helps you to collect data, but then uh, he or she should not have your password as well as the, the username, right? So here, um, I'm in my uh, Cobalt toolbox. Okay, so uh, the form builder that is, okay? So I have a lot of um, questionnaires right here, but then what I'm supposed to do is just to click on the questionnaire that I need to share. All right. So if you want to uh, to share a certain kind of a questionnaire, you just need to click on it. Okay. So let me just open it. I've opened the first one. That is the uh, YouTube cover toolbox lesson. Okay. So from there, then uh, I can just go to uh, this part, which says that the share project, I can just click on that one. Okay. Okay, so here you see, uh, it means that you are sharing the link. So here it says, anyone can view this form. Uh, anyone can uh, view submissions made to this form. So what it means is that if you share this one, uh, the one who has received this link is going to uh, just view the submissions as well as the, the form. But, no, uh, but uh, he or she cannot be able to submit the uh, questionnaire or maybe the data to you, okay? But then what we need is to make sure that uh, your uh, your your questionnaire has to be filled, okay? Like the data collection has to be made by someone and then he or she is supposed to uh, send the data into your server, right? So here, what we need to do is to So it should just make sure that you are not on the summary, but it should be on the form. You should make sure that you click on the form. So when you click on the form, here we have a current version. So it's just a matter of telling you the version. But here, there is the data correction, all right? So here we have copy or open. So here, if you... Uh, click on copy, it means you are copying the uh, link so that you should share it to someone. Okay, so here there is the data correction, and here down here, there is the online, offline, multiple submissions. Okay, so just click on the arrow here. You're going to find a lot of uh, things here. So, what you should do, take note is that uh, if you click on uh, uh, this one, which is a default then, it means that uh, someone can collect data and uh, send you some uh, multiple submissions. In other ways, that one can collect the data from one person and make submission from another person and make submission from the other, a lot of people, okay? So he or she can collect data from several respondents and send them to you. But now, if you can uh, click on here, like to say single submission, it means that uh, you are going to allow only single submission, meaning to say that uh, 
once one form has been sent, there will be no uh, chance to be sending some other forms. Okay, so this is the, uh, where a lot of people or organizations control for submissions. Maybe you have ever um, conducted a certain kind of uh, survey or, or maybe uh, you have ever maybe filled a certain kind of a form where once you submit and you try to resubmit, uh, you receive a message to say that the form has been uh, already submitted or whatever. So it means that uh, the guys or the owners just uh, controlled uh, for submissions, meaning to say that uh, you cannot submit more than uh, once, right? So uh, that's it. So there are a lot of uh, things here. So let me just concentrate on uh, this one, which says that uh, once per uh, respondent. So here it means that if I click on this one, okay, so here you see, uh, it has changed from default to once per uh, respondent, meaning to say that uh, one respondent is going to send only one questionnaire. All right, so then I need to click on copy. Okay. So if I click on copy, then I can just add a tab here, click on plus sign, and I can just uh, drop whatever has been copied, like here. Okay, so this is the one that is supposed to be shared. So it means that uh, this one is the one which you need to copy now. You can copy and send it to individuals for data collection, or maybe in other ways, uh, it is used as the uh, uh, registration forms maybe. You can just uh, construct your registration form on Cobo toolbox. From there, then you can just send the link so much so that uh, some people should do fill in their details, uh, meaning they have registered. You understand, right? Okay, so let's just uh, do a simple, or else if we can just say, uh, if you can just press enter so that you can see what is he supposed to, uh, to be like. Okay, in this case, let me just do it like that and to see how the form is gonna be uh, like. Okay, so the form is gonna be like this. And uh, down here, you're going to see some kind of uh, submit here, submit pattern. Meaning to say that if you uh, you are using your uh, mobile phone, you can do the correction from there, then you can submit. Okay, so I'll just do it and submit to you. I mean, I, I will just do it and send it to you so much so that uh, you make some kind of submission. You can just see. Uh, how it works, all right? So that's what I wanted to share with you.